Our last item, our very last item, is the weirdest thing I've ever had to auction off at Miami Con, including t-shirts that basically say arrest me, I'm a fucking moron. Um, Keith, would you care to join in and assist? Yes, I would. Could you explain a little of the background to what we're about to do here? Right, I assume some of you have obviously been around on the convention scene for a little while. I assume. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, good, a response, thank you. Are, are you familiar with the individual known as Granny Gertrude? Yeah. Stand up, Granny. If you, if, He's very helpfully pointed out with arrows. <laughs> That's him just there. Even if you haven't heard of him, you've probably felt his influence deep inside you. In a fan way. Now, that wasn't his influence. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't going to go there, but thanks for sharing that. <laughs> right, as you might notice, Granny has long uh, L'Oreal sponsored locks flowing from his sort of bulging head. <laughs> I like the way you said sort of. That's really kind. It's a side of you I haven't seen before. Well, I, I'm in charity work now. When you're there at Alaska. <laughs> no, no, I skipped it. It's rubbish. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, true facts. No, so, so uh, Granny's kindly decided to offer up his beautiful, well, his hair <laughs> to be shaved off. Oh. Behold the clippers of justice. <laughs> How short can we shave it? The Warriors clipped us of justice, apparently. It's, it's all going, right? It's all going. Actually, when, when was the last time you actually had your hair cut? Um, probably I before some people born. in this room were born. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, he's had this since birth. <laughs> and now he's going to get rid of it in the name of charity. What, what settings the clipper is going to be on? Um, there's settings. That's settings. Fucking scalp pill. <laughs> 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 they don't know how to operate. <laughs> <laughs> When you hear screaming, stop. No, no, no. We have super clothes. We have clothes. Do you get to keep the hair? Which setting are we going for? Super close? We're going for super close. But we do have scissors as well. Okay, well that's... So how are we doing this? Are we actually just auctioning to cut his hair off? Or are we selling the hair as well? Because that would be totally hot. <laughs> Oh, the right to cut, so you're letting some, some fucker from this audience cut your hair. <laughs> you fool, I mean, you man who is good at Just giving the charities. Scissors. Just the scissors. Aww. Just the scissors, okay. I want somebody who knows how to shave to do the shaving. <laughs> it's really straightforward. It's really straightforward. <laughs> so it's for, the right, it's for the right to shave him, then. Oh. Only this area. <laughs> yeah, tell you what, whoever wins, if you turn an extra 50 quid, you're getting waxed downstairs as well. Because <laughs> everybody loves a smooth ball sack. <laughs> that's reasonable. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's why. I, I like the way that he actually looks like a prisoner in that outfit as well. So it's just like, we're going to shave him. Later on, we're going to bring him into one of the smaller rooms and de-louse him. <laughs> okay, so for the privilege of shaving the hair off Granny's head here, the hair he has had since birth, and has never, you know, felt the unwelcome touch of clipper or scissors, you can come up and, you know, basically, you know, hair rape him. <laughs> and look, you can keep the hair if you want, but we will judge you a little. Um, well, we can always try and auction that separately, so you go for it, judge them as a horrible oh, horror. They're probably cosplayers who are sitting there going like, oh, I could use that. <laughs> It's important you go back to Japan, you can weave it into some kind of rug to hold at night. <laughs> how will, how will that... That'll be the next bath towel we've done. Remind you why you don't want to come back to the UK. <laughs> you can make a voodoo doll. Oh, <laughs> Actually, maybe, Molly, maybe you could like win the bid and then use it to replace your Sean Locks, because you almost look like a normal human. Almost. <laughs> Right, so where, where are we starting on the, the bidding for the privilege of oh, shaving Granny Gertrude? It's, it's up to you, I think. What do you reckon it's worth, Keith? I assume you're putting in the first bid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right. Yeah, whatever we'll floats. Okay, let's start at 40 quid. <laughs> 50! 50 over here. Do we hear 60? <laughs> oh, God, we do, shit. <laughs> do we hear 70? 70. Oh, all the hate is coming out now. I've been doing this for fucking years. It's going to shit. It's going to be in there. 
Do we hear 80? Do we hear 80? Yes, we hear 80. Do we hear 90? 90, do I hear 90? 90. 90. 90. Ooh. Do I hear the big time? 100. You got a hundred! You got a hundred from the hateful lady at the front. <laughs> <laughs> this is payback for everything you've ever done to me. <laughs> Do I hear a hundred and ten? Hundred and ten? Hundred and ten? Hundred and ten. Oh! A hundred and twenty! A hundred and twenty! Do we hear a hundred and thirty? Can I just ask? <laughs> if anyone wants to take to know why tonight is so very special. It's also mine and Elsa's 10 year anniversary. Oh. <laughs> no, don't cheer because whoever wins this auction, Elsa won't have anything to hang on to. <laughs> Send him your scarf. She can sort of wrap it around his neck like a little pair of. Oh, I'm not. Sorry. I'm, I'll just leave patch. Ah, oh, the sex I've had and forced other people to watch. <laughs> Shit. Where were we? 110. <laughs> right. Do I hear 120? 120. Yes. Do I hear 130? 130. I'm fine. 130. You've just been 120, but 130. Right. Do I hear 135? <laughs> how, how much? How much have you got? How much do you want to pay? One hundred and fifty. One hundred and fifty. Right? Do I hear one hundred and fifty-five? Do you notice that none, none of the Rubens quite balding men are, are bidding on this? Because they're just sitting there going, "Yeah, but for the grace of God." Are you offering one hundred and fifty-five? We're offering one hundred and eighty. Shit me. <laughs> 180, bidding against yourself, fantastic stuff. Excellent work. Do I hear 185 from anyone? Perrin? I guess you do. You're thinking, God, if I could cheat it, I can hold it at night. I can use it to make a new beret out. What, what would people be willing to bid if we were to throw in Perrin's beard? Oh, wow, that I like. Come on, Perrin. What, what is a man, Perrin? What is it you hate so much about people with heart disease and, and medicine crossing from This is not happening. <laughs> I know you want revenge, Rob, from a few years ago, but that's not happening. I've been putting up with you gay for Fahey, which isn't even how you pronounce my name. <laughs> the least you could do is trim your beard for charity, Perrin, you heartless I hate you. Why do you hate dying people, Perrin? <laughs> Apart from the fact they take up valuable resources. <laughs> Well, I'm going to hell for some reason, fuck it. <laughs> I don't think you need to add to the list. Uh, yeah, no, screw it. Right, so, 185, anyone? 185? No? 190 for the person who keeps bidding against themselves. I love the fact that they don't really understand how this works, but they're just so happy what? to be here. Ten, I'll throw in this really shitty purple scarf. It's the second time you saw that. <laughs> so do I hear 210? No, no. I've got a better idea. Well, Pete had a better idea, but I don't want to acknowledge that. Why doesn't anybody who wants to just add to the convention's charity total and the humiliation of an unfortunate gentleman sitting in front of you, uh, not me for a change, um, or Pete even, why don't you just add to the total that they've already got? If anyone would like to chip in a tenner in on top of that and get the money up. Anybody wants to donate let's, let's, an extra tenner? Let's turn your into a collection box. Go on, man. Just stand in the middle there. If everybody who wants to donate could just go over and like, you know, cough up the cash or just tell how much they're going to donate. <laughs> Now, go, go forth to the middle of the aisle. I love this. This is going this is beautiful. This is, this is totally beautiful. Wow. Holy shit. I would, I would actually chip in, but this isn't so hot on the old pockets for the wallet. <laughs> Yeah, I'm good for it. <laughs> the only thing you have to lose is Granny Gertrude's dignity, so it's a win-win situation for everyone. <laughs> I'll see you in room 112. <laughs> A 
I still can't get over how much you hate people with heart disease. Yeah, Perry, what's your problem? <laughs> no, don't do that just because you're off stage. Come on, be a man. Come out and say it to the masses. Ah, uh, they're going to braid it and then the braids can be cut. So first you should... It's hot and morning showing how everybody obviously detests your hair. <laughs> How many of us over the years of coming to conventions have not looked at this hair and thought, seriously man, it's gone, just get rid of it. Roy, did you want some of that afterwards? <laughs> Where do you want it? Just so we can see. <laughs> you see, my, my parents asked me what I do on these weekends and I just said nothing much. <laughs> I attempted to explain once, then I immigrated. Yeah, I think I may have to do that, to be honest. Right, do we have any idea? Do, do, we, have, do we have a running count? Rough the, total? Uh, yeah, total. Rough total? Uh, lots. Lots. Way! So, uh, we, we, let's add them for a couple of minutes while they quickly count up so we can give people a total. It gives them time to braid the hair that's about to be cut. Does anyone want to buy a braid? Tonight's, uh, tonight's show has been donated by the Remington Company. Remington. It's actually, it's actually, it's actually, it's actually fabulous. Uh, babyless or fabulous? Fabulous! <laughs> fabulous. <laughs> fabulous. <laughs> fabulous. <laughs> this is babyless. Like, I never really understood because babies don't have that much hair. Well, they so don't when you use a babyless shaver. <laughs> I would prefer my shavers to be entirely yes, babyless. What is, yes, my dear. Elsa, why have you not chipped into the shaving of your man? Apart from the fact you've got nothing to hold she on has. to afterwards. Apparently she has. What, so she <laughs> hold on or chipped in? I think what they said was... This man can plant his nipple hair. Why does Elsa chip the hair? That is the most... And hold on to that. Yeah, that's all I'm going to think of at night now. Plant his nipple hair. It's pretty much as close to all I can do. I think people can take a turn. Different people can do each plant, can't they? We've only got that many, because you haven't got that much. Buy a braid. No. <laughs> Would anyone like to purchase one of the braids they're making? Uh, uh, sort of like a homemade, crafty sort of item. Perfect, perfect Mother's Day gift. You can sell it on, you can sell it on regrets here, it'll be great. <laughs> this already looks a bit regret, wow. to be honest. It's like That's beautiful. It's, it's like a sort of a weird West Country spider. <laughs> Just remember, once the hair has been unleashed, it will, it will hunt you down, it will find you. So who makes the first cut? Well, Elsa! Have, I think Elsa has to make the first cut. Do we, do we have a running total yet? No. We've got I to add it for a couple of minutes then. She did it. So Granny Virtue, when did you first realise that your hair was ridiculously long? <laughs> that was really not interesting. <laughs> Try harder. <laughs> I've always lost the power of speech. I first realised my hair was ridiculously long when I was trying to brush my teeth and it wrapped around the toothbrush and I was yanking myself like this and it was not good. So how long have you been out on care in the community? <laughs> Do you plant it into your nipple hair? Because that's what I want. <laughs> <laughs> I'm better than that. I'm better than that, yeah. We're all going to hell. I like, I like that that was just a comment. It was just out of hair, and he was like, you're found of hair. Yeah, out of hair. Hot stuff. Hot this stuff. is what happens in room 112. <laughs> Many things happen in room 112. Is out of hair one of them? It can be. Room 112 is whatever you want it to be, basically. <laughs> Interesting. No, not really. Well, it's closer than my room when I really need a bathroom. <laughs> you won't need bathrooms where you're <laughs> <laughs> no, believe me, I will. <laughs> well, how goes the count? Count faster, Molly. Molly's like, I want that hair. Ooh, it's a big number. <laughs> it's a big number. Anybody willing to place a bet on how big the number of pounds that people have donated is? How many of you reckon it's over 500? I reckon it is. How many of you reckon it's over 600? Seven? Eight. Are you just wanting us to bid? Hold on, I'm not wanting to bid. You now owe £800 to the Lenami Con Convention. Well done. <laughs> now, whoever, whoever, whoever guesses closest to the actual total gets a special prize, which is you don't actually get anything. <laughs> friendship. You get friendship. We're not sure who from, because everybody here is a hateful ball of, you know, hate. <laughs> 
Have you just found more? Still in. <laughs> yeah, some tramp came in from outside and just threw a load of his change into the pot and said, yeah, he, this, your, this needs to happen. Your years of growing your hair transpire to have been worth £800. So, uh, over £800, Elsa, please make the first cut. Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. Got to appreciate this moment, because this is probably the first and last time anybody will see this. Yeah, that's one turn around for the photos. But you need to pose. This is almost like... It's like those porno videos, and don't buy them more, because they're weird. Oh, yeah. You can't buy them you can them for free. Oh! Hold it up. And it can be yours! <laughs> okay, who's next for cutting bits? I think it's Billy Gunso who did it. Come on, Gunso. I think it might be more. Maybe more. Check them out. For services for bidding against yourself, <laughs> please make the second cut. Upstairs, not downstairs. Sad face. It's not meant to be your flesh. Huzzah! <laughs> <laughs> I like how she held it out like a dead rat. <laughs> okay, do we have a volunteer from the neck? Oh, good <laughs> okay, you, 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 for obvious reasons, get to cut the third strand. I don't even know who it is. Strangers are standing behind you with scissors. It's much like living oh, inside a uh, He dies a little more inside with every cut. Okay, can we have the next volunteer? Foxy, get your ass up here. For me. Remember, cut, not stab. Oh, that's beautiful. Uh, there we go. Professional. <laughs> well, I was going to offer the next one to Perry, but he hates people, so... <laughs> oh. Only dying people. Only dying people. And at the moment, he's dying a little inside, so Perry hates him. <laughs> he's weeping. Weeping tears. <clears throat> Internal tears. Right, who, who wants to cut off a bit next? No, I can't. I think you guys cut. She loves the hair too much. She can't do it. Well, for lack of volunteers, I'm going to cut off the next round. <laughs> Go on, then. Can I shave? He's got the scissors. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the scissors. Yeah, no. Okay, this is this is. Uh... You're going to make one of those chains that you attach across your nipples, aren't you? Pretty much. Yeah. 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 I'll shave. Oh, I just. So what's the line from? Are you having a lot of yeah. them? You can cut. I won't cut. Um, which one? I'm oh, a fucking scalper. You're dining in hell. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, no, it's not. Like this won't be fast. This won't be pleasant. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you said to all the boys. Well, the ones that are crying, anyway. <laughs> Sadly, the bit won't be fast bit is usually a lie. Okay, who wants the next strand? I'll take it, if you'd let me. I'll cut it with a pass. There you are. You're not sorry at all. No, I'm not! <laughs> is this a bad scissors? Oh, how can you fail so badly at cutting? Get on, man! <laughs> you have to be the left, dear, using right. Somebody else cut, please. <laughs> 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 Ow! <laughs> 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 He's ripping it out by the roots instead of cutting. I'm always watching this is how not to cut your hands. What was like they cut you out of your hairdresser, Colin? Sit down. Sit down. Not here, get away. Hang your head in shame, you failed hairdressing cunts. <laughs> It's the sadism, I can't deal. Right, we've got one really, really stringy rat tail braid left before we get the clippers out. Who wants it? <laughs> oh, they're all over it now. Yeah. Who's inside, inside this? Take away your essence, go for it. Who's <laughs> inside this? This is spot. No, I guess it has been decided by them. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. You know you want to. Do you want me to film it? <laughs> Hang on, before, before you cut, have you always dreamed of this? Yes. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'm around. <laughs> Deal with it. And the final strand. It's not really a strand, is it? Well, more of a rat tail, but yeah. It's and it's gone. Fetch the clippers! <laughs>
We must shave him. It was a degree in clipping. <laughs> okay, you got on with that shit. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> they can't shave that, that's not how it works. You can't shave that. Okay. <laughs> how short do you want it? It goes as short as, short as possible. It goes from scalp to racist. To rapist. <laughs> rapist. <laughs> set it to racist. <laughs> you said, no, set it to white supremacist. If you, if you set it to racist, it actually deliberately shaves little swastika skin. And puts a tattoo on your scalp. Oh, this is beautiful. Set it to, but it's not what it's saying. You get your little bit of like, head stroking into it as well. It's all quite sexual in a way. It's like one mole, one clipper. <laughs> I can do him in there. Oh no. These are shit clippers, I'm sorry, mate. This is going to take a long time. Do that for a couple Yeah, are these like terrier scissors? Previously <laughs> used. Slowly the white padded flesh appears. Well, more of it. <laughs> give me that love. Somebody give Elsa a hug. <laughs> She's like, I, I, I just can't look Aaron at you. Oh, good God. Oh, God. Oh, God. 800 pounds. Oh. 800 pounds. <laughs> That Perrin wouldn't Stop stand up for. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine how much more it would have been if Perrin wasn't a cunt. Well, Perrin has disappointed us all. Well, if you shave the top half, for the last time. Perrin cooks you. Give him Mr. T. 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 Give him but it won't come back in three days. When the stone mind. table breaks, your hair will still be gone. <laughs> oh, sad news, then, people. Oh, it should be epic victory music. That's scary. Does anyone have the song Hair from the musical Hair? <laughs> That's the least appropriate song imaginable, right? We're trying to hug Perrin's body hair. Nobody wants Perry's body hair. I'm shaving his head. It's not a fucking degree. <laughs> you can get those. Congratulations, you now look like a man. I wouldn't want to meet him in a dark alley. <laughs> to be fair, when he had long hair, I wouldn't want to meet him in a dark alley. Yeah, in fact, that is an upgrade from not wanting to meet him in broad daylight. Granny <laughs> <laughs> Gertrude is dead. Zombie Picard, Mark II, is born. <laughs> Make him so. That is indeed one of the reasons I needed my hair shaved off. I'm going to cosplay as Picard and James Ilpala is going to cosplay as the Enterprise. Surely he should be down the truck. We've got to keep up to it. And now entering the animals of people who look like the Enterprise. I am actually quite scared of you right now. Look at me. <laughs> Special thanks to Molly for his degree in uh, And I am required by law to do this now. <laughs> Stand up and present yourself. <laughs> Well, I think this concludes this holiday essay and humiliation. So thank you to everyone who donated money to the cause. You are lovely people. Almost makes up for the freaks who bought the body pillows and the shirt about loving primary school children. Almost, almost. She's whispering. It's over! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, show's over, freaks. To the bar. <laughs>